the final in Kingston this evening a 71 to 62 victory for the Rhode Island Rams to open up the 2021 2022 season. Hi everybody. It was a privilege to call this game. We're back inside the Ryan Center Stone Freeman. Will Pipicelli. Will, a really good game. Rhode Island's guards in particular their starters, right? Shepard, Elamine, and Leggett. 60% of Rhode Island scoring today. They had 43 of Rhode Island's 71 points. Yeah, and those three names we're going to be saying a lot this season, Stone. They're going to carry this team if the Bands want to reach their aspirations that they think they're capable of. A great performance in the opening night from those three players. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from this game, and most of them come from those three guards. It was Jeremy Shepard. This is his first half three that got Rhode Island rolling and really just doing a good job at all layers of this game. Here's a floater, a teardrop from the elbow. So Shepard showing off his skills. And then, of course, he had the steal and score. Rhode Island doing a really good job in that category as well. Yeah, he was just such a calming presence tonight. You know, sometimes they needed a and he wasn't there, but he never rushed his shot. Obviously, you saw the and one there. Every time they needed a big play, it was number two who delivered it. Rhode Island had 13 steals on the defensive side of the ball. The other guard, Ishmael Leggett, a sophomore, that honestly has some shadows of what would be a junior or senior. He looks so comfortable and content with a team-high 18 points. Yeah, he had such poise, especially down the stretch with some big free throws for the second-year player. But you can see scoring in different types of ways. And he's going to have a big season with a lot of people circling him to be the breakout player for Rhode Island. Six for ten from the field for Ishmael Leggett in a game that Rhode Island never trailed. They led for 38 minutes and 27 seconds. And this game was only tied for 90 seconds. Leggett, a big portion of that. Now, Ishmael El Amin was the other guard. Here's another look. Leggett just had so much going on in this game. And, of course, the steals were important, too. He stole it on the inbound. And El Amin made himself comfortable. This was his big three-point bucket. That gave Rhode Island some cushion. He had 13 points for Rhode Island. Stats in this game. Again, BU, it was the three-point shooting that hurt them. Not so much that they were 7 for 27, but the fact that they had 27 three-point attempts. Yeah, they really weren't able to get anything inside. Either the Mitchell Twins and Walker had all that foul trouble. They used it to good effect if you want to think about it that way. Limiting the Terriers' impact down low. And points off of turnovers are big, right? The Terriers doing a good job forcing 19 of them, but Rhode Island responded on the offensive end after forcing them 21 to 8 in that category. Yeah, with Rhode Island's turnovers that they forced, they were able to get in transition a lot easier than the Terriers were. Yeah. Well, we had fun tonight, Will Pipicella, did we not? How could you not? That's right. We have another game coming up on Friday, a doubleheader between Rhode Island and Bryant to start, and then women's basketball. Rhode Island and Merrimack following that. That's Friday. For now, the Rams victorious, 71 to 62. For everybody here, thanks for their help. For Will Pipicelli, I'm Stone Freeman saying so long from Kingston.